Hey Deckers, another week, another 140 games updated as verified or playable on the Steam Deck, so you can check out all the links in the article below. And let's dive into our top 10, starting off with Mia and the Dragon Princess, with the status of Verified from the awesome Wales Interactive. Verified ahead of its release on the 4th of May, this live action interactive movie, following Mia, a plucky barmaid whose life is thrown into chaos when a mysterious woman turns up at her workplace. At number 9 we have Murderous Muses with Verified status and a completion time of between 3 and 12 hours for the number of runs. Huge thanks to Diabaki Studios for giving us a key to try this one out on Steam Deck. Runs at a perfect 60 frames per second. You can go and solve the sinister murder with this awesome FMV with a mix of FMV and puzzle solving moving around the gallery. At number 8, Minecraft Legends playable status with mixed reviews considering its release on the 18th of April. This does run absolutely fantastically on the Steam Deck and we have full gameplay of this as well. This is a very different Minecraft game where you can explore a gentle land of rich resources and lush biomes on the brink of destruction. The ravaging piglins have arrived and it's up to you to inspire your allies to lead them to battle. At number 7 we have Tainted Grail The Fall of Avalon with playable status out from the 30th of March with mostly positive reviews but this is a fantastic looking open world RPG in a very similar style to Skyrim and is definitely worth taking a look. Explore a world stuck in everlasting autumn witness falling legends and make meaningful choices woven into a complex storyline. At number 6, Audio Surf, which is playable on the Steam Deck and also has a demo available. With overwhelmingly positive overall status with almost 8,500 reviews, you get to ride your music in this adapting puzzle racer where you use your own music to create your own experience. At number 5, Alien Swarm playable status and also free to play and has a sequel as well with over 20 and a half thousand very positive reviews one of the older title in our view this week being released originally in 2010 this is a co-op multiplayer game as you can see it runs at a perfect 60 frames per second on deck and is a mixture of a twin stick shooter and strategy game at number 4, after a rocky start, A Plague Tale Requiem now has verified status. Since its release in October last year, it's still got 7,000 reviews with a very positive status overall. Embark on a heart-trending journey into a brutal, breathtaking world, and discover the cost of saving those you love in a desperate struggle for survival. At number 3, Scorn playable status and a very intriguing horror style game released in October last year with the mostly positive review status overall with around seven and a half thousand reviews it's an atmospheric first person horror adventure set in a nightmarish universe of odd forms and somber tapestry not to mention extremely freaky at number two speedstorm playable on the steam deck and we have footage of this on the channel as well as it does play remarkably well and to be fair i actually really enjoy this game but the currency is a huge problem this isn't free to play yet but it will be when it launches fully and you have to buy a founders pack to get into the early access which is obviously rubbing a lot of people up the wrong way at number one this week though we have deceit Playable on the Steam Deck and with a whopping 86,000 reviews with a mostly positive status overall. And it is also free to play where you can test your instincts at trust and deception in an action filled multiplayer first person shooter. You wake up in unknown surroundings to the sound of the game master's voice surrounded by five others. This is working perfectly fine on the Steam Deck as you can see with a good 50 to 60 frames per second. However, there is no controller support so you will have to use one of the community keyboard and mouse mappings. Let us know in the comments below if you think that we've missed something that was updated this week and we'll see you in the next one.